What's up, guys? Hit it. We hit it. Two into two. Oh god, the ping. That's fine. Unless it's back. No, oh, that's also bad. That sucks, man. He had a 50-50 to not wreck my turn four play. But he wrecked it. Have to pass my turn. God damn, that sucks. I could punch hit with this, and I lose this though. At least I keep this on the board. But scorn is a wrecking then. What an awkward turn three that was. Cage this? I do. I mean, I, yeah. I do. Maybe, maybe. So, let's do 
this, and if it is mine, K, don't just pop it. Yep. He didn't have to hit that. He's got a heart seeker in his hand. Three in the heart seeker. Interesting. I have five mana. So I kind of need to kill that thing, huh? Probably have to trade this. Four and one. That changes things, doesn't it? I can kill the bird for free and then hit this, it sucks. Maybe I thunder bomb him, two, three. Need a shield master here. It just sucks, man. Does he have blank next turn? No. And also shield master here. Shoot punch. No. That turn was super awkward. Hopefully he doesn't kill this for free. Death Blighter does. Or at least this dies. He's only got four cards left. I need to start playing multiple cards per turn here. Got six mana. Can I do four and two? No. I cannot. It's gonna killing edge that, and then I'll kill it. It's fine. What's up, tactical? As long as he doesn't heal this, we're good. How about a three three? That's not a sentinel, please. That's great. stuff here. Um, I don't really want to get hit. Three cards to get through. Need to watch my life total. Cobra Strike. Or beast? Spelljammer? Shit. That's pretty bad for me. That needs to die. So do I killing edge this and just go in? Maybe I just, like, go ham. Seven mana, four and three. Killing edge this. Thunderbolt 
What about Killing Edge this play the bird? Three, four, five, seven. I don't have the one the one damage I need. I guess I could play this here. And bird here. Bird here. Get away from backstab. That's a real problem if it hits exactly these two. Oh shit, really? That's bad. Well, as long as this hits face, we're okay. As long as this lives, we're all right. And this is not a giant provoke. That's cool. I think we're all right. I think we have lethal. What's up, UGO? What's up, Krell? How you guys doing? <laughs> oh Lord. Oh Lord, bless this thy hand bless grenade. Thy but with hand it thou grenade. blow thine enemies to tiny bits. Who being not in my sight shall snuff it. Shall snuff it. All right, Tactical, let's check out your game. Against... Kind of Blue? Could be a problem. Is that going to be a repul repulsor beast? Can you not punch this? Like, does this grow when you hit it? I guess either way, you go here, you go here, you repulsor beast it here, punch, punch, and then pass. can't let this thing get out of hand, right? I mean, alternatively, you play Widowmaker, but then he goes into this and plays Plasma Storm. He can't Plasma Storm. Alright. Widowmaker, pass. Can't he just run this in and have it grow? Whenever... Another friendly, okay, another friendly. Holy crap! So, Jesus. Are you just gonna raise him? God, you hope he doesn't Plasma Storm next turn. Oh god, the plasma storm. I can't watch. I cannot watch this turn.
Oh, it's not plasma storm. Okay. Whew. You're good. The clock is on. Oh god, this is looking grim. Why would he gaze her that? Yeah, you're definitely keeping this thing. Kills the 3 3 and buffs this. Why didn't it buff? Whenever another friendly minion with grow survives damage, that minion. Oh, that minion grows. Okay, holy shit. <laughs> 8 8 in the face! For God's sakes, how do you win this game? Betrayal would do it. <laughs> Did that go face? But that would win. You gotta hope he doesn't have natural, I guess, right? Oh, the frenzy. Oh, I suppose, yeah, a painter would do it. Oh, so would Miss Dragon Seal on a... Wow, another Repulsor Beast. Up north? Yeah. I love it, just... You're on that... Cl you're on the clock. Seven, holy shit. Mantella. Not too much of a threat. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, he moved up? I suppose you throw the Colossus back now. He's at nine. Is he gonna hit your one one? No, he's leaving it. Ah, oh, that's why. God, this looks so bad. Jesus. Uh, 
I think he should have put that in the center tile here. Get rid of Katara. This dragon. Oh my god, that's awesome. That's that's lethal. <laughs> Playing to the outs, ladies and gentlemen. He thought he had that game in the bag, man. Lay into the outs. That was pretty good, man. He DM'd me after calling me a cancer, then removed me. How do you know? Like, when someone adds you and then removes you, it destroys the chat history. So you, you read it that quickly, huh? Wait, who was the guy? I had someone do that yesterday as well. Uh, it was someone named Kind of Blue. Cold. Who doesn't draft removal? Oh! oh. <laughs> ah! Who needs this plasma storm and this thumping wave and this egg morph? I want dudes. I came here to play cards, not deal with my opponent's board. <laughs> like he chose, he chose the dudes. He chose the dudes over the removal. I didn't come here to not play aggressive minions. That's not why I paid that 150 gold. Repulsor Beast, Rax, Magmar, they have no way to get minions back into play. Well, who does? Lionar? Nobody has ways of getting minions back into play. I guess you could say Banar does with sister shenanigans. Songhai with Miss Dragon Seal. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Abyssian by bringing something over to it. Bring things to it. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Vet doesn't really either. I guess they could give it phasing. Astral phasing. Third wish if it was a dervish. How often do you get your dervishes repulsor beasted?
They need to bring back old third wish. Give any minion plus three, plus three, and blast. Make it plus two, plus two, you know, like, fine. But God, that was good. Obelisks. So you can, so you, what, third, third wishing a, uh, <laughs> third wishing a wind dervish? If it's 2-2, two, two, it's not thematic. Yeah, I know. So plus three, plus, plus three attack and blast. How about that? No health. Just plus three attack. Laser kitties! Right? Laser kitties. farming. You talking about Sing or Moosin? Hands okay. Just in case he phoenix there's no way he phoenix fires this. And in case he does. I should really replace one of these. This I don't like this into that. Thunderhorn likes to gather as many things as it can for that XP. For that XP dough. You roping me, bro? I kind of want to watch this game. We'll watch it after after they're done, though, I guess.
I know I could have killed that in other ways, but I felt like the development was best there. You can twin strike clear. Phoenix fire that, sure. Does he have a two drop? The heels! Guess we do this. Protect this against Dancing Blades. If he wants to take five from this, it's fine. Key Beholder. Arcane Heart, Inner Focus. Killing Edge. Top. I can handle top. Wow, I could I could clear his board here and eight him, or maybe I'd kill him, actually. Let's see here. Killing edge this, which is five and five is 10, 12, and then lethal next turn. Seems good, right? Alternatively, yeah, yeah, it has to be this. I just have to protect my general here. Just have to make sure I don't die on this turn. It's fine. <laughs> I should death blighter just for BM. <laughs> By the way, he should have traded Venom Toth so this could block my general. And shot me in the face. Because going down to one seems kind of sketchy. I mean, what does Songhai have that can deal one Knuckle Storm, I guess? Does that deal damage to generals? I think it does. Yep, Knuckle Storm. You guys wanted the 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 Thunder Bomb kill, the Thunder Bomb lethal? Yeah, the one game I lost with this deck tactical, I decided to clear a- I decided to throw a bunch of burn into a dark nemesis over two turns, and, uh... I got it down to two health, dead next turn to several burn options I had in my hand, and they breath of the unborned it. <laughs> so I got wrecked. 
And what's funny is I could have just raced it. I could have ignored it and just won the game and put all that burn into the face instead. Sing won it. Does anybody know when the mobile duelist is about to come out? Uh, there have been no updates on mobile duelist in a while, Guild. Counterplay was working on that at one point. They had a beta on iOS. I played it, it was actually quite good, and it was very far along. It wasn't finished, but like, they had basic gameplay and gauntlet working just fine, it was awesome. And then when Bandai purchased them, as far as I understand, the mobile update, the mobile version of Duelist was not included in their contract, which means that It's up to counterplay what to do about that. Cass is really Cass is tough for this deck. Where's my veil? This is actually pretty good in this matchup, right? Because my heart seekers aren't gonna do crap. That said, I'd rather have a better two drop than this. So let's ditch this. And I guess this. Yeah, let's give it a six. Sentinel. So I'm gonna end up giving him a copy. Probs. I guess we'll just Gorehorn. No copy. So it's either general attacks or spells? I will assume it is spells. So if this attacks this, it actually survives with one damage, but then he kills it. So that kind of sucks. Oh god, I played into Dancing Blades. Holy Christ. Gonna get wrecked if he has D-Blades. So just putting this back here, I'm guessing it's... Okay, he didn't have Dancing Blades. That's still pretty bad. I could killing edge this. I probably should. Uh, that's gonna give him a spell. All right, it'll give him a four four, a two four four. I guess it's fine though.
How do I put, put the boar here? Killing edge this. No, I'm just gonna put this to five. I could also put this here. I think I wanna do this though. Maybe I just give him the spell. He has to take this eight. Hopefully he's gotta take this eight. I really could use that eight damage on him. Damn it! That's too bad. Damn. this next turn, right? I guess I'll make him use it. Four and one. Just make him, make him use this. So he's only got, he's only got five mana unless he plays something on the tile. All right, so he gets six. Gotta hope that this kid, I need one more minion to connect to his face. He'll probably put the two four four here. Oh, Vorpal Reaper, we're racing Vorpal Reaper. That is a problem. So I need I need to go balls out here now. So I hit for three, two, three, four, five, one. Let's see, I hit for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to him. I nine him, which puts him at eight. I don't have enough to kill him. Well, that was as good as I could get him down, unfortunately. That Vorpal Reaver is gonna be really tough. If he Shadow Dancers here, we probably lose. Cause he gets one, two, three, four deaths, yeah. I can't beat a Shadow Dancer if he has it. Crap! Like it took him that long to fit to play that? Really? God, that's a nut. That's a nut play. 
At least he has to sack the Vorpal. He misplayed that. It has celerity. I can't, uh, I have to ignore this. Right? Like, I could kill it. I could actually kill it right now. I think this is better. I could have killed it. Last time I I decided to not race, I lost though. He goes to five here. Crap, he has he has removal for it. Shit, six. He goes to six. Damn it. Alright, I might have two more turns here. Wow, he's moving in. Crazy. I need to play this. He has this too. Hmm. He's gonna run this into that and get two more deaths. How do I place this so this can't kill it? I can't. I also can't hit with this. Oh, he can ping his own right wing. Yeah. God, that's super annoying. God, that's super annoying. I'm gonna be one off. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. So, uh, killing the Shadow Dancer wouldn't have mattered. He had the he had the stone cold nuts though. The stone cold nuts. He he and he misplayed the turn. He miss he even misplayed the turn by not killing the three one first with the boar believer and then the boar. He did have reflection. It did matter. What damaged me a lot? Oh, the Gotatsu that I threw away? Because I could have Phoenix Fire Gotatsu that, that Shadow Dancer. And then not wasted, and not wasted burn. Yeah. If I had kept, if I had kept the Gotatsu, it would have been better, but I wasn't gonna waste 
face burn on that stupid thing. Yeah, I know. Oh, you're saying... You're saying I should have killed it? Man, that would have been throwing... Throwing... Six damage into it, though. I just didn't want to throw six damage into it, but yeah, I mean, maybe. Maybe. That's true, he left- he left the Heart Seeker up. You're right. I- you're right, I should have. I- I like- I planned that turn out as if he killed the Heart Seeker because it was the correct play, right? Vorpal Reaver kills both guys, he pings the Heart Seeker. So he left the Heart Seeker up and it threw me off. Like, in my head, that Heart Seeker was gone. Even though he left it there. Yeah, it was only half of the Phoenix Barrage going into it, so it was correct. Like, I was already planning to, to race it. Yeah, like, I just assumed he would make the correct play there, and when he didn't, uh... I didn't recalibrate my, my brain. That feel when you forget you have a heart seeker. Right? Yeah, every point, every point in that game mattered. Thing is, if I would have stayed in there and punched him in the face, he would have shadow reflected the, uh, the Vorpal Reaver and killed me. So I definitely had to get away from that thing. Like, there was a world where I stayed in there and punched him and put him at six. And then killed him next turn. But, uh, I had a feeling he was gonna buff that thing. The, uh, the Vorpal Reaver. And then... He would have 22'd me if he did that. And I was at 22. If he didn't have Shad the Shadow Dancer, we would have won, but I think we could have won that game either way. Let's block the screen! I missed my three drop. an interesting play here. Do I punch this? Do I- I 
give him a card if I do that. Playing Shield Master is so interesting. No, I had I had another interesting play I could <laughs> could have done on that turn. Mana Death Grip or Ping. He's probably gotten Blood Tear. Yeah. Oh, Heart Sister, sure. So we get wrecked by Avalanche, but evidently he doesn't have it. So he's, I think he's got some AoE and he wants to AoE both of these. But he doesn't want him step there with his general, but he's going to, because he can't pass up the value of this AOE. Yeah. Sure. Trying to decide what to do with that zero mana, bro. have Warbird? He does. Okay. So then let's... Radical, it's still at one life. He has to have another removal card. Sure.
I have to be I have to watch out for lethal here. going over. Why Why is he staying in range of this? Yeah. Has to play a minion in here. Not sure why he stayed in range of that geomancer like he could have gone all the way down south and hit that and hit the um maybe he couldn't from where he was standing i guess he couldn't from where he was standing get all the way down there oh lord bless this thy hand grenade that with it thou mayst blow thine enemies to tiny bits, who being naught in my sight shall snuff, shall snuff it. it. Oh gosh, you guys are saying he went 0-3 this run, that last run. <laughs> oh man, poor guy. What was the interesting play? Uh, I could have interfocused the shield master and cleared the cleared the the three four the snow rippler although I would have had to give him a card but I also had killing edge so I figured inner focus killing edge was stronger Are you guys playing Guacamelee too? It's pretty good. It's it is um it's a lot like the first one, but it's a lot I would say it's a lot tougher. Like it's a lot faster than the first one. Pretty challenging. It's fun though, it's pretty good. The tracer could have blocked. Yeah, 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 the tracer, but he wanted the tracer on, on my face. But yeah. again with a new Fey deck. This is actually pretty good in this matchup, but six, a six drop, not happening. Holy crap, where are my two drops?
think I'm gonna keep this this time. I guess I jam the four drop then. I do not like coming into the center though. Let's get rid of this. Just taking the mana tiles. So if he plays a hailstone or a Primus Shield Master, we're all right. Moose. I imagine he is going to. Uh, he's going to silence that, right? Probably. I don't have a good play here. I guess that's pretty good. I can force this one direction or another. Probably has a chromatic cold for this. Swamp Tangler, putting him in provoke jail. Courtesy of Swampy. have the ping. He does! He's got the death grip. Or the chromatic cold. No, he doesn't, huh? Okay, this is about to uh, get out there. So he could dust whaler me here, which would suck, so but I need to get away from that thing. Scorn. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. That just knocked out a whole bunch of damage. Wow, he took that three. He took that three. Crazy. I could steal the snow chaser or I could face him for I've got three six nine here. It's not enough though. Double Thunder Bomb isn't bad. Yeah, I'm just worried I'm worried about I need to I need to get the face damage in though. I guess I could do it here. 3, 6, and then play this and this to hit him next turn, huh? It's 
probably correct, but if he has heals, we're in trouble. I guess it's okay. Can he kill me if I punch? staying here on purpose. I know the moose can hit me. But I need to be able to hit him with Silhouette Tracer next turn. Oh shit, that's not lethal. Crap, I needed to punch him that turn. I don't have lethal now. Crap. Oh, that's cute. Okay, it's frozen though, right? Okay. I'm on I'm one off lethal here. I need I need to find a Phoenix fire, huh? Oh, I just got it. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I can kill him next turn. I guess we just steal this for now. Finish him. I have enough mana? Three, six. Oh, Finish him. Yeah, I see it, I see it, I see it, okay. I thought I needed one more damage. <laughs> I thought I needed to hit. I thought I needed to connect. Sorry guys, math is hard. I'm not sure. I'm afraid we need to use math. Casually needs a Phoenix Fire. Top decks it. <laughs> he thought he probably thought I was BMing. He's like, really? It took you that long to play your six out of hand damage, bro? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Kill now. Thanks, guys. Sometimes you're just, you know, in the zone and it's not the correct zone. Thank God Ouroboros didn't make that guy, uh, didn't, didn't summon him back without the stun effect. Like, thankfully, it's not opening Gambit stun this minion or something, right?
So any, none of you guys are playing Guacamole, huh? What's up, Norinator? Hey, got two wins. I've heard positive feedback. Yeah, yeah, like I said, so far it's pretty good. There's uh, quite a bit of freedom in how you... Uh, it has a skill tree that you can... Uh, that you can... That you can use to... Uh, Enhance the way you play. And it's very open. Seven, two, and one. Eight. After a... Is this a 12-0? Woo! It was! A 12-0 Songhai. reached seven wins in gauntlet for the first time today congratulations welcome to the infinite gauntlet club sir i remember my first seven win same with my first seven win run in hearthstone in arena the one where you finally get your your gold back for playing was pretty awesome I wonder if Artifact is going to have any kind of a, any kind of a draft game. I don't know how they're going to be able to pull that off. Sure would be nice though. God, that would be great. I mean, the main reason I like draft modes is because, especially when you start a game for the first time, and you just want to kind of like get a sense for the landscape of different cards without, without buying. It's a really nice way to try before you buy, you know? Like, I wish Magic had that. I mean, when I first started playing, they didn't even have the digital version of Magic, but like, it's so awesome to be able to play with all the power cards and then be like, wow, this card is amazing. I'm gonna go buy that and build a deck around it. I hope Artifact has something like that, especially because the business model is, uh, you just buy cards, you buy packs, that's it. There is no free, nothing is free in the game. There is no free to play. You can't grind, you can't collect things for free. Although, God, I guess if they, if they had an arena, if they had a draft game, then maybe that would be how you could collect cards without, without paying for cards. I don't know. Like, do you, any of you guys play Gwent? And does Gwent have a draft mode? Or is Gwent only constructed? Guys, what happened with the Gauntlet Top 50? Uh, counterplays community manager, sorry, Bandai's community manager does not have the bandwidth to do the top 50 lists, and he's working on getting more community 
uh, management support. Currently, though, he does not have the bandwidth to do it. And Thanatos uh, no longer works on Duelist. So we are at the whim of Bandai until such time that they have more resources. I suppose Counterplay could also dedicate some resources, but why would they? It's, it's Bandai's job to manage the community of this game right now. It's called Gwent Arena. It does now. How is it? For me, Draft and Duelist was way harder than Constructed when I tried it. I was still figuring out my own deck. Basic plays and Gauntlet had its own meta. Whoops. I mean, Gauntlet has its own meta. Gauntlet doesn't really have a shifting meta in the same way that Constructed does. Well, it can, it can. It does in Hearthstone now, but it took them like a year, like two years to be able to shift the meta on uh, Arena and Hearthstone. Quit long before after they nerfed your Nilfgaard. So, when I watch people play Gwent, I feel like it's a giant math test. Like, all it is is math. It, I mean, I don't mean to trivialize it, but that's just like what it looks like on the surface. It's just like 3, 14, 26, 32, Minus 12, 17, nine. there's just so much math that it just does not look fun to me. There's just so much math. I hope that, uh... I don't think that Artifact is quite going to be like that because uh, you can only have seven minions on the board on your side in any lane. And even though there's three lanes, you only have to worry about one at a time. Whereas Gwent, every lane can have, like, three rows of, like, I don't even know how many guys. Like, tons. It was okay as a side game for The Witcher, but on its own it was rather boring. Trying to guess what your opponent's deck archetype is. Gwent sucks, no doubt about it. Hey, William, have you seen Artifact? Are you excited about it? Some boss music. Warhorn Inner Focus is pretty nice. Death B, I think we can get rid of that. I'll keep this, get rid of that. Oh, that changes things. How about the blast minion? Yes! Yes! Where's that killing edge? Where are those killing edges? Don't hurt me.
then he's gonna run where I am. I leave this here. I don't want it. I don't want to put it here because then he goes there and pins it in the corner. I guess I could have done it here. Yeah. Maybe I could have moved it down here. Or, alternatively, I could have played the Gorehorn here and moved it in the corner. And then the Gorehorn could smack whatever he put there to pin it. I go up here? Probably not. Gotta dodge second scorn. Really bad. And where the hell are my Phoenix fires? Holy shit. Not Phoenix Fires, the Killing Edge. We'll give you the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge. Wow, I'll take that. Three damage, that's gonna be significant. silhouette trace out of there. I could get four and three out. Let's just get rid of this. this here. Shoot. Where am I putting this? I don't want Giago to hit it, right? Maybe I'm okay with that. I could have run further over this way, but because he can provoke me again, I guess. I just need to chip a little more damage off his face. Hopefully he doesn't have another provoke here. If he does, it's going here, I guess. Rx. Can I race that? Crap, heals! Oh god, is he gonna... He's gonna... Cosmic... Crap. Shit, that sucks. Two turns to kill him. Uh, 
That is a big problem. Let's see. He's gonna hit that. I think I just leave this at full health, right? Maybe I should have hit this in case he uh, he moves this over here. Yeah, maybe I should have hit with that. Yeah, I should have punched it. That was a mistake. He's gonna take the four? Yeah. Can I kill him? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, wait. Yeah, I think we're good. Right? Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, six. Seven, eight, nine. Shit, I can't get my general in there. A mistake. Uh, does this do anything? Not really. I have to go face here. Oh, but he's gonna... This heals five, shit. That undoes like all of this. Eh, this is bad. Yeah, that was bad. The heal five is just... Man, this deck cannot handle healing at all. It just can't handle it. Pretty good death blighter turn. God damn with the healing! Stop! with the healing. He has to keep this back here, which is good for me. Really, he got exactly that square. That sucks. You know what? I think I'm going to punch this and get the damage onto this. Does that change anything? Not yet, it doesn't. I'll do it next turn. So I'm gonna go here. Oh crap, this is gonna hit that. What the hell did I do? I totally screwed that up. Damn it. Well, my board is gone. My board is gone. I don't think I'm going to be able to stick anything on the board anymore. He 
He's at 15 life, but man. Okay, please stop playing cards. Did he hit that? Really? 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. I might be dead here, huh? Hit the bird. I have to hit the bird here. Star's Fury summons in front. I'm gonna play this here to block. He's only got two cards left, one of them's a top deck. Oh god, don't pony me. Please don't pony me. Well, I didn't get any. Holy shit. That was so lucky. That was so lucky. I'm one off lethal. Wait. I have to go... I'm one off, right? So I thunderbomb this, I hit this, I punch this. And then that's five, no. I have to thunderbomb here. Brings this to seven. Alright, if he can kill me from 12, Noshrak does it. Woo! Damn! That was close, man. <laughs> you guys. You guys are terrible. Emote him! BM his ass! Twitch chat is brutal. That was a real boss fight, I will give it that. Man, if 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 I had got one Spriggan spawn in that one square, he could have totally blocked it off by moving his dervish there. But he left it open. And it summoned his there. So I didn't get the spawn. But if I had one more damage, I would have had... Uh, and a lethal on that turn, right? Three cards rare or better. Pretty good. I thought it spot on allied kin before enemy kin, so does that guarantee it? Are you saying it? But he could his could have spawned in the back, couldn't it have? Maybe maybe it was blocked. Maybe there were only three squares available, in which case he played it correctly. That feel when your opponent concedes to your turn one play. <laughs> Alright, how about a skin? How about a skin? 
Not likely in a common. That was a pretty fun deck. All right, let's see what we got. Did you get any artifact keys at PAX? Uh, I did get one artifact key, Hemp, and I will be streaming it as soon as the game is unlocked in Steam. I've already redeemed it. Why does nobody dismiss the new cards to the menu? I just like to look at them and count how many I have. To be honest, Thunderbomb ruined the glorious death chewed by kids. <laughs> Spriggan loses you games generally. Although... That was pretty good right there. He almost won from that. Did you wear a staff purple shirt and ask to verify codes? No. <laughs> Who should we play, guys? Who should we play? No, actually, um... I didn't get to play Artifact. I had uh, a friend of mine, a friend of mine who was working at a booth, went there super early before the show started and schmoozed me a, a key, basically. Hey, listen. You mean the Artifact for Dota 2? Yep, the Artifact card game, which, uh, I talked about with Mythical Brit on here. We went over a bunch of the cards and the game mechanics. Talked about it on stream a couple nights ago. Probably can watch that if you want to. Uh, if you want to hear about it, it's in the VOD section of my stream. Kalios or Lilith Zoran is a bit boring. Now that Hemp is here, I have a video that perfectly describes a game against Hemp. Kappa. friend went to PAX. If only I had my phone, I would have messaged him to get me a code. Well, Solam, your friend would have had to be willing to wait in line for like four hours. That's why I didn't do it. Someone said Lilith. You guys say Lilith? Okay, Solam said Lilith. Okay, let's do Lilith. This is highly dependent on getting a good getting a good draft. Like Shadow Dancer, Blood Tide, and a bunch of removal. Soul Shatter Pact is actually pretty good in here. I think we'll take the piggy though. First Sword is not bad too with the Wraithlings. Do I want First Sword over the piggy? Yeah, I'll take the pig. Could make an argument for the first sword, though. Probably dragon lark. This, these are terrible. Definitely take that lore. Do I want tormentor or do I want heals? I guess I'll take the tormentor. Oh my god, these are awful. 
I guess I take Fire Spitter, because it's the least bad. I kind of like Void Talon. Void Talon got a lot of work done for me in a previous game. I think I like it. Shadow Nova is my favorite card. Uh, this is not good in the Lilith. It's not as good in Lilith. There's, a, I mean, I can play it, but I have to not have anything on the board. to take this because Vorpal Reaver and, and Spectral Rev are so good. I mean, these are not bad, and I would really, I would probably take the Lost, but the chance of getting Vorpal Reaver and Spectral Rev is too good to pass this up. Well, Desolator it is. Wow, these are all super good. I think I take Dancing Blades over the Tiger, though, right? God, they're all so good. I'm gonna go for the Value Generator. I don't know, maybe that was wrong. Blood tier. God, these are these are really tough picks, man. I want the pings. Pings. I had to pass up two. Re wow. Okay, I guess I'm gonna take Pandora here. That was pretty nice. I need. I'm gonna need a DT. I think we're gonna need a DT. At least a one DT. Blood Tara. Uh, artifact Hunter, no artifacts, so probably Saboro? Yeah. Grincher versus Sinister. One, two, three. I only have three two drops, 18 cards in. I need some early game. Grincher's the best card here, but I think I need to take the Silhouette, because I only have three early game cards. I have to take bones over this, right? God, even though this could get me betrayal. Gibbet is awesome. Gibbet is, eh, I don't know, man. You have to play him defensively. I'm gonna take the bones. DT, got one. Shieldmaster versus Crawler, yeah, let's take the shield. Horn of the Forsaken versus Soul Shatter Pact. Take that. Only three spells. Lure. Probably Deep Lights here. Or do I take Diamond Golem? How are we doing on curve? One, two, three, four, five. It's okay. For three drops, we've got one, two, and a half. Three, four, five. Eh, it's okay. For four drops, we've got one, two, three. Not great. Fives. One, two. Why pass the Bone Crusher? Because Lure! Lure is ridiculous. I guess I'll take Death Blighter over the big boy. Alright, I have this for a finisher. Shadow Dancer, easy. Yeah, that's awesome. I never get Shadow Dancer. I'm gonna take another lore here, guys. Hailstone over these two, yeah. The deck is filling out nicely. Uh, Naga, or do I want some card draw? 
My late game is not awesome. Getting a card like Necrosir is pretty good, but I think I'm gonna take the value. Generation there. White Widow. Oh wait, do I need another two drop? One, two, three, four, five. White Widow's the best card here, but man, I could use another two drop. This is actually a really tough pick. Do we have taunt? Uh, we have one. We have one taunt. Here. Illusionist and Chakram is the last card. So White Widow is the strongest card here. If this were the first pick, it would be an easy Widow. I wonder if I take it anyways. It's super greedy to take this. Six spells is not bad. It is enough to feed Illusionist. But Mana Forger is also really good. Because it turns all of this stuff into tempo. Man. This is the weakest minion, but it's the best for curve. What do you guys think the pick is here? Six spells is not enough. I feel like it's between White Widow and Mana Forger. White Widow if I want the power, Mana Forger if I want the curve. I take the Widow. I mean, this is a must answer minion. Maybe, maybe the power is enough to F my curve. Yeah, I think it is. Hopefully I get a two drop here. Well, I got one. <laughs> I asked for it. I did ask for it. Face striker. Ah, uh, you never take Face Striker here. It's between these two. Again, it's this if I want early game, and this if I want value. I'm like, I'm almost tempted to take this Necros here. Is that terrible? I'm gonna I'm gonna whiff my turn one so often. Take the two drop. Am I crazy for considering this Necros here? I guess I am. All right, all right, all right. You guys convinced me. What's up, Brit? Sing, how's your deck doing? Just started. Two zero. Eating breftest. Breftest. That is literally how some of my old Texas friends pronounced it. Y'all won't get breftest. Like, I'm pretty sure there's not. A, there's no F 
in 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 the word anywhere. <laughs> Pretty sure. Well, there's there's fast, but there's no T in the middle of it. Hey, this was a 12 win Magmar, wasn't it? Every other game, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve one, not bad. You made me super self-conscious there. I thought I misspelled it. No, no, no. <laughs> it just reminded me I had some old Texas friends who had strong southern accents. And although I never developed a southern accent, I was around a lot of people who did. I think there are places you can go in Texas, and then if you're there long enough, you just come back with an accent, because I swear to God, I had a friend in high school, no accent whatsoever. He goes, he goes off to college, and then he comes back with a super thick southern accent. And I thought he was joking. Like he, he talked completely normal. No no accent to speak up. Come come back for Thanksgiving. One Thanksgiving after being maybe two. And I see him and he's like, How you doing, Kevin? And I'm like <laughs> pretty funny. And he's like, What? And I'm like, oh my god. What happened to you? I don't know. Y'all can just go to hell. Go straight to hell. I do miss y'all. I miss y'all a lot. It is just the most, just the nicest way, the most convenient way to say you guys. I guess I have to keep this, this, and maybe that. I feel like I've got a better four drop than this. Let's get rid of that and keep the rest. Is there any reason to play this here? I don't think so. Because I have three now. If I had a four drop or a two drop maybe, well. Three, no, it doesn't matter. We got the early drop, yep. Yeah. Maybe he's got like Veil Hunter in hand and he's just like, damn it. This seems better like late later. I mean, I'll play it now, but it seems better later. Going into their turn four, maybe. I guess, you know, if it takes a four drop, that's good. It's always better if it takes a higher cost minion. Wraithling Swarm. Well, that changes things. I guess I play this, right? I could trade this for that and play this to take his four drop. Maybe, maybe that's better. I'm 
sure I get the card next turn. Maybe this is better. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Uh, I don't know, man. I have all nickels and dimes in my hand. Getting their four drop on curve. I know, I wanted, I really wanted to take his four drop. But I guess I'll settle for his five. Unless he shield masters here. If he shield masters here, I can trade, trade. Rock lobster, I guess. Trade punch lobster. White Talon. It might be worth a lure on this and then I can ping it down next turn. Alternatively, uh, what a waste. I don't think so. Alternatively, I play this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think I want to lure this. I'll just let it resolve up here and, I don't know, hit that. This is risky. Super risky. I think I want to do this though. He has to back up, punch this, move this down here, trade that. If he has a scorn, we're in big trouble. Big trouble if he has a scorn. That's pretty bad too. Take the free kill here. I don't really want to use this boulder hurl, but I guess I have to, huh? Alternatively, yeah.
of a kind. God, I'm gonna have to nickel and dime him to death because I can't find my late game. Picking on Maeve in draft is a manifestation of a person's hidden suicidal tendencies. There you go. Bring out your inner, uh, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven. I'm gonna knock him for two here, just in case. Just in case he has demonic lure for this there and he chains the whole board. Yes, I am. Is Silver Tongue Corsair connected to you in any way? Uh, if it was spelled that way, maybe, but it is not. Bring out your inner masochist by playing against Maeve. Well, this is alright. It stops their 3 drop. 2 into 2 is also not bad. How do they get rid of Giago? You have to martyr him, in, right? Yeah, actually, all these are good. I guess I want to lure, though. I guess I jam this. I 
I could two into two here. But it would involve playing the Jaxi there, and he has a 50-50 to kill the token pretty easily, so we'll ignore it for one turn. I still need a lure. Let's get rid of this. God, where the hell are my spells? A third of my deck are spells, and I can't find one. Ah, uh, they always have a crappy minion and they'll play the Silver Guard in front. Oh, wow. Really? That sucks. Is there a world that I keep this frenzy? Probably not. Can't, I can't kill anything on board. I guess I just back up to the back wall. I'll probably play the Jaxi here. Just to take this. Actually, I could have cleared this minion with this, this, and that. I don't think I play this. Is there a world that I need to play this? So I guess I want him to have to heal this, so I take the one. Tempest is a wrecking. Bolster turned out pretty good. Oh my god, I played it in the corner. I should have put it here. Now he's got a two-thirds chance to hit the Jaxi token. Oh god. Should have put that here. I didn't even think that through. I feel the Mave challenge is more difficult than the Stormhorn challenge. No way, man. I don't think so. Well he gave up one he gave up one shot of it here. Not right there, please! Yes! Sweet justice. Shieldmaster. Maybe we Shadow Dancer this. Like, Shadow Dancer back here. Seems good, right? Alternatively, I DT it, but I think this is better. Two.
He's ignoring everything over here for that. It's not bad, I'll take it. Sentinel, shroud, fine. That's cool. Why did he have to bring this over there? I'm gonna take the spot that he wants to pin this on. Oh, I should have replaced Jaxi. That's a spell. Your general gains three attack. Whenever your general attacks, summon a three drop. Not Silver Guard. Okay. Fine. Is it whenever your general attacks or does damage? Attacks. Okay. He's gonna heal two, go to 10 here, but at least he can't get at this, right? I mean, I suppose he can if he pops the Jaxi token. I mean, I have lethal on board too, though. Maybe I don't if he puts a big provoke here. Well, I do now. Yeah, I should have lethal, even with a big provoke here. Sky Phalanx, that's one more mana. Let the Wraithling get the kill. Nickels and dimes, that's how I have to win this. Nickels and dimes. Appearance claim he could have done. Yeah. Oh, man, I don't know about this deck. I only have one win con. This is such a low curve. I don't think this deck is very good. I don't know. It does have Desolator. I guess I can play it pretty aggressively in Soul Shatter Pact. Like, I don't win by putting giant guys on the board, though. Is this the... Is this the Ice Lake Gen 4 song? 
algorithm. What the hell? Uh, let's see. This is Monster Hunter. And before that... It was Pokemon Platinum Lake theme. Finished my quest yet? I did. So, William Blake, did you check out? Uh, did you say if you checked out Artifact? Ooh, look at this. Eight zero after a after a twelve one gauntlet after a twelve two after a ten three after another twelve he's killing it look at that he is killing it Maybe he's got like Prostobot level drafts going. We haven't seen Prosto in a while. When was the last time he played? Five days ago. to see what he's rocking. Is that the new Dota card game? Yes, William. The new Dota card game. Yeah, what do you think? Wait till he queues. I want to watch this game. I guess we could watch a uh, previous version of any of these. Rabbit, are you here? Is this a was this a good game? Let's, uh, let's check out the game. I said an hour ago, Duelist is the only is a game mode I could play for 20 years. Games without tactical depth are meh. I want battles on a 2D board, not a zero-dimensional board. What about three boards, though? Yeah, I do remember you saying that. I didn't know that was, uh, I didn't catch that was in regards to, uh, to, uh, Artifact. Back here? Really? I like that. I like that. It, it puts pressure on him enough that he won't want to, okay. So he's got, he's just gonna give that away for free.
Interesting. Blood of air? Anybody? Anybody? Shroud. Sand swirl. And it's gone. And it's gone. Poof. Well, babysitting that tile. Second wish. Face? Is he hitting? He hitting? God, that's so good. Not sure why he put that there instead of where this can hit. Ooh, that's pretty good. Seems like you go face here, yeah. Wow, he got the seven health one. So he's got a race now, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's so brutal. How does he win? How does he win this? No. No, I guess he got he's got to do that, huh? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah, now he's not going to last long enough for the for the for the obelisks to to kill him. That's going to Oh, he's going to go to 1. Or sorry, he's going to go to 2. He's gonna he's gonna lose on this next turn. Yeah, he's dead. Oh man, that was so close. He really needed to move up so he couldn't get blasted. He could have, yeah. I think he was hoping that. If he got blasted, he would also blast the other... Yeah, you're right, though. Ooh, he's playing Velisca. Alright, we'll check that out afterwards. No two drop. Let's get 
rid of that. I guess this, which sucks. God damn, man. Feels bad. Can obelisk me? Yeah. It's gonna double obelisk me? I'm a 50 50. Oh, for God's sakes, really. Well, because of that. Because of that. I probably lure it. I don't have a play, though. I don't want to throw it away yet. have to lure this away. That's super annoying. Okay, he has to get exactly this square. Whoops, that was dumb. Put a middle card. Well, I lost the 50-50. He got... Top versus bottom sucks. Did he draw? He did draw. So we will assume. Hmm. So I guess I go punch trade. I play this, right? like to do. What am I going to replace? Probably this. Back this up, right? Because I might want to dance her next turn. Jesus. I'm getting wrecked here because of this thing. Oh, that ordering! So the replace... I think I'm gonna play the Giago. And it replaces this. take a lot of damage, huh? Maybe I just Dancing Blades pass. Yeah, 
that seems seems solid. Or just this. Have some things that can deal damage. Is he gonna go face with that? Wow. Okay. Alright. Good, good. I might actually be able to kill this thing. this. It's my only GTFO. I guess I Shadow Dancer. Trade, trade. Alternatively, I Naga. Trade. That spawn is so good. Best possible spawn I could get. I don't think that works how you think it works. So. Five, six. six. That, that's lethal, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, nine, eleven. Yeah, should be able to do it. Oh, shit. Wait. Maybe not. Maybe I fucked this up. Now, I think I need to lure this away and play this, right? Because then I also get a death here. Is that right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I'm one off. One off. God damn it. Damn. Oh, I forgot to put the mist. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, am I dead? Am I dead? 
Holy shit. Okay, I'm not dead. I forgot to put the mystic in, uh, in range of this, yeah. God, I didn't deserve that game. Yeah, I needed to lure the mystic in, in, and I just, oh god. That was awful, guys. Brain is just not even working. I needed to lure it, uh, one square up. see that again. Let me see where it needed to go. Wow, it turns out that Second Wish Obelisk is pretty good. <laughs> if you only had... If I had a second lure, I would have thrown that... I would have set that thing back like a bad stake. But I, I couldn't spare the I couldn't spare the removal on it. I've never had anybody do that before. That's really annoying. Not on turn one, anyhow. You also gave him five gold and he didn't deserve it. was pretty funny. Lose, losing a charge of that. This thing would have done way more damage back here than that three, I think. Plays rewarded by five gold. Good deck. He misplays. All right, let's check it out here. Okay. So I put this here. I punch here. I lure this right here behind him. And either of these two squares it had to be in, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because the frostbone goes right here. Alternatively, I lure it there and frostbone here. Like, there, 
There are a few ways to do it, but holy crap, that was bad. I wonder if there's another way to do it, like... Because I do get... I guess another way to do it would be Frostbone here, which I can't do. If this kills that, it's equivalent to doing two damage to his face. But this is gonna die anyways. Actually, you know, what if this attacks here Puts it at two, then I Naga here. I got the death from that and I get the death from this, which is equivalent. No, wait, 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 that's only two. Whereas this hitting him in the face is three. Never mind, that's bad. Yeah, yeah, it's one less damage. Right, right, I see it. You could whip the structure so that it dies instead of Mystic. Four, five, Seven. I needed this to die, though. Oh, like, punch the structure. Not really. That doesn't work. Where do I put the structure so that this dies, the structure dies, and... So let's see, I come here. This goes and hits him in the face. This goes here. Structure gets whipped. I don't know, here. Wait, the, the, the healing mystic's still there, though. So punch, punch. Doesn't work. There's nowhere I can whip this to where this dies and, oh, well, maybe. Just, like, throw this back here or something. No, it doesn't work. There's nowhere where I can do two damage to him, this dies, and this dies, with the healing mystic not moving. Right? Right, Cracks? If the healing mystic doesn't move, there's no place to Frostbone Naga that hits this, and this, and that. Is there? Let's see. Punch, punch. Nope. Oh, yeah, there is. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. So I come down here. This moves over one, hits him. The square I want to hit then is where this healing mystic. The healing mystic being right there had to go. Yeah, th this is in the way of everything. So the only thing to do is just to lure this back one square. Okay. That was really hard to visualize for some reason. I'm using all my brain power. I'm not sure. I'm afraid we need to use math. Well, I think with those last few plays, my brain power is also going down quite fast, decelerating quickly. So, uh, well, we probably have enough time to watch one more game. Let's watch this match against Beliska. Ooh, he lost. Ooh. Let's check it out. Probably open up with this. I like uh, cannon, turn one. I'm not sure I like coming forward, too, because he gets provoked jailed. He gets, like, provoked jail into a snow rippler or something. Okay. Primus. Of course. They always have the Primus. Killing Edge for the win! Does he play Mizuchi? Or Mind Cage?
Or Shaman Veil. Shaman Veil. Wow, he's gonna be, he's just in permanent provoke here. Flicker! Damn. Ma? I do not think he needed to shroud that. Well, he protected this. That was pretty good. 17 life, though, is a little dicey. He can uh, run the pulverizer up here. Oh, does he have like a D blades or something? Yeah, Jesus. That's a hell of a lot of opening gambits, sir. I think we played this deck, right? Zuchi into this. Yeah. I like Mizuchi better because he has to attack this. I don't I'm not a fan of that. I would have played the other one. I wonder if that's going to be the difference. Risky. Oh my god, he had the Naga. He had the nut. Jesus. I think he needed to keep that. This also needed to be, like, probably closer. Oh my god, he had the Naga. I think he could have positioned around, around, ooh, ice break. That's rough. That is really rough. Yeah, he loses to this now. God, that was a pretty good clear.
He has to remove this or he's dead, right? Bones. Does he also have removal for this? Yep, he does. Of course he does. God, if he didn't have that. Now, now there's no way for him to win. Yeah, he's, he's dead. Probably Tusk Boar all the way back here. Keep it. The ice break, the, I mean the not, I think that the Naga turned one of the game. Holy crap, he's got so many opening gambits. How did we beat this deck? <laughs> that should be game, right? Get rid of that. This should have probably been here. It's he's in Snow Chaser Central. That is not where you want to be. He skipped his first turn. That's the game. A little late. Oh, how I beat him. He skipped his first turn. Yeah, that's right. He did miss that first turn, right? Although I was playing my... This deck, which had a lot of burn in it. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna get some sleep. Let's see who we got for you, for your duelist entertainment. We got Brit. So you guys have fun watching Brit. And uh, I will catch y'all tomorrow. Y'all, I say. <laughs> All right, have a good night. See ya. There we go. Yo, thanks for host Silver Miss. Hope your runs went well, man. How's it going, man? Do so.